The chart below shows the current enlisted rank insignia of the United States Army, with seniority, and pay grade, increasing from right to left. Enlisted ranks of corporal and higher are considered noncommissioned officers NCOs. The rank of specialist is a soldier of pay grade E4 who has not yet attained noncommissioned officer status. It is common that a soldier may never be a corporal and will move directly from specialist to sergeant, attaining NCO status at that time. In the beginning, U.S. Army enlisted rank was indicated by colored epaulettes. The use of chevrons came into being in 1821, with the orientation changing from point down to point up and back again, to the point down orientation seen on Civil War soldiers. Around the turn of the 20th century, point-up wear was ordained and has remained so. History Topic: 1775 to 1821. From the creation of the United States Army to 1821, noncommissioned officer (NCO) and staff noncommissioned officer (SNCO) rank was distinguished by the wearing of worsted epaulettes. Corporals wore one green epaulette on the left shoulder, sergeants wore one red epaulette on the right, while SNCOs i.e., sergeants major, quartermaster sergeants, drum majors, and fife majors wore a red epaulette on each shoulder. In 1780, the sergeant major insignia included a brass half crescent placed on the skirt of the epaulette. From 1787 to 1821, NCO and SNCO ranks were indicated by either white or yellow epaulettes white for foot regiments and yellow for mounted regiments. Corporals wore one epaulette on the left shoulder, while sergeants wore one on the right. SNCOs wore an epaulette on each shoulder, with the sergeant major receiving either a nickel on white foot regiment or brass on yellow mounted full crescent on the epaulette skirt. The original Revolutionary War enlisted uniform jacket was dark blue with state-specific facing colors. This was worn with a white waistcoat and breeches and black shoes. All ranks wore a black tricorn hat with a black cockade, later a white cockade was inset to represent the American alliance with Bourbon France. From 1782, regulars had red facings. Foot regiments infantry, artillery, and supporting units wore gold metal buttons and lace. Horse regiments cavalry, light dragoons, and horse artillery wore white metal buttons and lace. From 1810, the uniform changed to follow European trends. The tight-fitting and short-skirted double-breasted coatie replaced the single-breasted coat, and the waistcoat was discontinued. Militia wore grey coaties still worn as a ceremonial uniform at West Point today and regulars wore national blue, dark blue coaties except for musicians, who wore reversed red coaties with blue facings. Enlisted ranks wore the coatie with a black stovepipe shako, white or grey trousers with matching button-up spats, and black short boots. Facings and buttonhole trim were discontinued in 1813. By 1820, the wearing of a red sash and sword served as a badge of rank for first sergeants and above from 1781, until 1833, the first sergeant was simply the senior sergeant in a company or battery and was not a separate grade of rank. Topic 1821 to 1895 Between 1821 and 1895, the US Army insignia of rank for enlisted soldiers above the grade of private was the chevron, a V shaped piece of cloth or braid, typically worn on the sleeve. From 1821 until 1847, noncommissioned officers NCOs, viz., sergeants and corporals, wore their chevrons point down, while staff noncommissioned officers SNCOs, viz., sergeants major, quartermaster sergeants, drum majors, and trumpet majors, as well as company grade officers from 1821 until 1836, wore them point up. A new system of enlisted chevrons was introduced in 1847 that were to be worn point up. 
This new system also included the first use of horizontal bars, vice arcs, or rockers. Worn with the chevrons to distinguish sergeants major from support SNCOs first used with the quartermaster sergeant insignia. However, in 1851, the Army changed to point down wear for all enlisted grades and directed that chevrons would be worn in the branch of service colors of sky blue for the infantry, dark green for riflemen and mounted rifles, orange for dragoons from 1851 to 1861, yellow for cavalry, red for artillery, and green for the medical department. Metal branch of service insignia were first adopted in 1832 the hunting horn being adopted as the infantry's insignia. They are worn on the cap with the regimental number inset in or just above it. Topic 1895–1920 In 1895, the Army introduced a new enlisted rank system that became the basis for the system used in World War I. Smaller rank insignia that were to be worn point up were introduced in 1903, but with the transition from the older, larger point down insignia to the new versions, there was some confusion concerning the proper manner of wear of the new insignia. War Department Circular 61 of 1905 directed that the points be placed up and designated certain colors for each branch of the military, for uniformity. During World War I troops overseas in France used standard buff stripes inset with trade badges in the place of colored branch stripes or rank badges. Rank grades were numbered from top down, from General of the Army, as No. 1, to Corporal, No. 19, NCO ranks were grades 13 through 19. Confusingly, pay grades were different, less senior ranks with more technical training being paid more than senior staff NCOs. On the 22nd of July 1919, the military approved, an arc of one bar, a trade badge over a single arc, rocker for a private first class. This was later changed to a single chevron in 1920. Topic 1920 to 1942. The Joint Service Pay Readjustment Act of 1922, Public Law 67 to 235, June 10, 1922, divided the grades into inverse pay grades for enlisted personnel grades 7 through 1 and pay periods periods 1 through 8 for officers the pay rates would stay the same from July 1 1922 to May 1942 in 1920 the rank system was simplified and the rank stripes were reduced to 3.125 inches in width the rank of sergeant major was discontinued and the confusing system of trade badges and rank insignia was abolished. Branch of service colored stripes were abandoned in favor of standard buff on blue stripes. The use of bars under chevrons to designate senior support arm NCOs was abolished, and all branches used arcs under chevrons to denote senior NCOs. The rank insignia were reduced to seven grades and eight ranks first sergeant was considered a senior grade of technical sergeant and were numbered from G1 for the highest rank master sergeant to G7 for the lowest private second class. Subdued olive drab on khaki stripes were created for wear with the class C khaki uniform. The rank of specialist was adopted. It was grade G6 but received a pay bonus from $5 specialist 6th class to $25 specialist 1st class. Specialists had the same single chevron of a private 1st class but were considered between the ranks of private 1st class and corporal in seniority. This was very confusing, as the difference between a private first class and a specialist could not be determined at first glance, in addition to any specialty they may have had, as trade badges had been eliminated. Unofficial insignia adopted by post commands granted specialists one to six arcs under their chevron ranging from one for specialist sixth class to six for specialist first class to indicate their grade, and trade badges inset between their stripes to indicate their specialty. Uh, 
1942 In 1942, there were several overdue reforms. Pay was increased for all ranks for the first time in two decades, and combat pay was introduced. The rank of first sergeant was now considered a junior version of master sergeant and the confusing specialist ranks were abolished. The specialist ranks were replaced by the distinct ranks of technician third grade equivalent to a staff sergeant, technician fourth grade equivalent to a sergeant, and technician fifth grade equivalent to a corporal. Technicians were inferior to noncommissioned officers of the same grade but superior to all grades below them. They had the same insignia as the regular rank of their grade, but with a cloth T inset between their stripes. The subdued insignia were abolished, but could still be worn with the Class C khaki uniform until they wore out. Topic. 1948–1956 In 1948 the pay grades were broken up into seven E enlisted and noncommissioned officer, two W warrant officer, and eleven O officer grades. The technicians' ranks were abolished and were absorbed into their equivalent line ranks. The rank of private was divided into the ranks of recruit grade E7, private second class grade E6 and private first class grade E5. Corporal was regraded as grade E4. Sergeant grade E3 was a career soldier rank and its former 3 chevron insignia was abolished and replaced with the 3 chevrons and an arc of the rank of staff sergeant. The rank of staff sergeant was discontinued and the rank of technical sergeant grade E2 was renamed sergeant first class. The rank of first sergeant grade E1 was absorbed into the senior rank of master sergeant grade E1. Also in 1948, the old buff on blue insignia were abolished. In their place was a new system of smaller 2 inches wide and narrower chevrons and arcs that were instead differenced by color called the golden light system, with subdued dark blue stripes on bright yellow backing for combat arms and yellow stripes on dark blue for support arms. They were not popular. Combat arm NCOs found their stripes were hard to identify unless the viewer was very close, making it hard to rally and lead troops. Support arm NCOs found their stripes too small to be easily seen at a distance, making it hard to tell their seniority at a glance. When the U.S. Army entered the Korean War, it was found that troops in combat abandoned the new insignia. They either used the support arm stripes, purchased the old larger buff on blue stripes from post exchanges or Army, Navy stores, or used hand-cut or tailor-made copies. The small, golden light, stripes were abandoned in February 1951 and the dark blue on yellow insignia was abolished. Larger 3-inch wide olive drab on dark blue stripes were adopted for servicemen. In 1950, the Women's Army Corps were issued new golden light yellow on brown insignia for wear with the taupe WAC uniform. It was the same size as the men's small 2-inch wide golden light stripes. Female personnel would wear the smaller 2-inch insignia until 1998, well after male personnel were issued larger, 3-inch wide insignia in 1951. In 1951, WACs were assigned surplus men's golden light yellow on dark blue stripes for wear with olive drab or fatigue uniforms. Also in 1951, the optional white whack dress uniform was now authorized for wear by enlisted and NCO ranks and 2-inch golden light yellow on white stripes were created to be worn with it. The 1950s brought a lot of changes. In 1951, the pay grade numbering was reversed, with the lowest enlisted rank being numbered 1, and the highest enlisted rank being 7. By 1955, as stated in Army Regulation 615 to 15, dated the 2nd of July 1954, new grade structures were announced reactivating the specialist rank, specialist third class E4 or SP3, specialist second class E5 or SP2, specialist first class E6 or SP1 and master specialist E7 or MSP. 
The specialist insignia was the same smaller and narrower size as the old Golden Light stripes to differentiate specialists from non-commissioned officers. Topic 1956 to 1985. In 1956, the Army began wearing polished black leather boots instead of the traditional unpolished russet leather. As late as the early 1980s, older soldiers who had served prior to 1956 said they were in the brown boot army, and the Army green uniform with golden light yellow on green rank stripes was adopted. The new enlisted rank insignia were then used on all Army uniforms, e.g., green, khaki, and fatigue. Enlisted rank insignia with a blue background was worn on the Army blue dress uniform. In 1957, a two-inch wide set of golden light yellow on blue stripes were worn with the new optional Army blue whack dress uniform. In 1959, a two-inch wide set of golden light yellow on green stripes were worn with the new Army green whack duty uniform. They replaced the taupe whack service uniform by 1961. Although the WAC was disestablished in 1978, the Army Green WAC uniform would be in use until 1985. In 1958, as part of a rank restructuring, two pay grades and four ranks were added, E8, which included First Sergeant and Specialist 8, and E9, which included Sergeant Major and Specialist 9. In 1959, the specialist insignia was made the same size and width as noncommissioned officers' stripes. In 1961, the wearing of large golden light yellow on green stripes was adopted for use on all Army uniforms green, khaki, and fatigue except for the Army dress blue uniform, which used large insignia with a blue background. In 1965, the ranks of Specialist 8 and Specialist 9 were discontinued, and Private First Class was briefly termed Lance Corporal. In 1966, the rank of Sergeant Major of the Army was established, its holder and assistant to the Army Chief of Staff. Considered a higher grade than Sergeant Major or than Command Sergeant Major from 1968, the Sergeant Major of the Army didn't receive its own unique rank insignia until 1979. In 1968, the rank of Command Sergeant Major was established as an assistant to the commanding officer at battalion, brigade, division, and corps level. Also, that year the insignia of Private First Class received one arc under the chevron. In 1978, the rank of Specialist 7 was discontinued. In 1979, brass enlisted rank pins were created for wear on black epaulettes with the Army green shirt and black woolly pulley sweater. In 1985, the ranks of Specialist 5 and Specialist 6 were discontinued. <laughs> 2000 present In 2001, the Black Infantry Beret was adopted as the standard headgear in place of the BDU cap, overseas cap, and visored cap. The Black Ranger beret was replaced with a sand-colored beret similar to that of the British SAS. In 2011, the beret was phased out in favor of the reintroduced patrol cap, for fatigue duty or field wear, but the beret is still worn with the service or dress uniform. Enlisted personnel wear the unit's heraldic pin aka unit crest on the beret flash while officers wear their rank insignia in the same location. In 2006, the navy blue, army blue combination uniform was adopted to replace the army green uniform and the yellow on blue stripes were reintroduced. With slight modifications, the army blue uniform became the army service uniform The army white tropical dress uniform was discontinued in October, 2009. Although authorized since before World War II, the Army white uniform was owned by very few soldiers and rarely worn. The new combination Army service uniform is dual purpose, consisting of a dark blue jacket, white dress shirt, and blue trousers or an optional dark blue skirt for female personnel. The jacket has epaulettes for enlisted men and noncommissioned officers, and shoulder straps for warrant officers and officers. 
Non-commissioned, warrant, and commissioned officers' trousers have a wide yellow stripe down the outside of each trouser leg. There are dark blue cloth sliders with embroidered yellow or white rank insignia on the class B dress shirt epaulettes. It is a service uniform when worn with a dark blue necktie. It is a class A uniform when worn with the jacket and long-sleeved shirt, and a class B uniform when worn without the jacket. It becomes an evening dress, or mess dress, uniform when worn with a dark blue bow tie. Female personnel wear the service and dress uniform with a white blouse and a navy blue crossover tie. Command roles The headquarters of each company-sized unit is assigned a senior noncommissioned officer NCO who, as the highest-ranking enlisted person in the company, battery, troop, monitors the enlisted personnel and is their advocate with the commanding officer. This position is known as the first sergeant, though the person carrying that title does not have to have that rank. In a battalion or larger unit, the senior NCO is a sergeant major. The rank of sergeant major is usually carried by the senior NCO of the S3 staff section in a battalion, regiment, or a brigade, and in most staff sections in larger units. The command sergeant major fills an advisory function, assisting the commander of a battalion, regiment, brigade, or higher formation in personnel matters. The sergeant major of the Army has a similar role assisting the Army Chief of Staff. In terms of command, the rank of a person typically determines what job and command the soldier has within a unit. For personnel in U.S. Army Mechanized Infantry, a Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle M2A2 is commanded by a staff sergeant, the gun is manned by a specialist or sergeant and the driver is specialist or below. For armor, the Abrams main battle tank M1A2 is commanded by a captain, lieutenant, sergeant first class or staff sergeant, the gunner is a staff sergeant or sergeant, the driver is a specialist, private first class, PV2 or PV1, and the loader is a specialist or below. <laughs> Forms of address Forms of address specified in Army Regulation R 600-20 Army Command Policy are Sergeant Major and First Sergeant for those holding those ranks, and Sergeant for Master Sergeants, Sergeants First Class, Staff Sergeants, and Sergeants. Corporals and Specialists are addressed by their rank. Privates First Class and Privates can all be addressed as Private. In some cases, informal titles are used. Top is commonly used by NCOs as an informal address to first sergeants, or anyone serving as a company first sergeant. In field artillery units a platoon sergeant usually an E7 is informally referred to as smoke, from chief of smoke. A reference to when units fired as whole batteries of between four and six guns, and the senior NCO position was, "...chief of firing battery." The junior E-7 position is designated as, "...gunnery sergeant," and similar to the USMC usage, is typically referred to as, "...gunny." Field artillery cannon sections are led by section chiefs usually an E-6 are often informally called, "...chief." This does not seem to be common in other section-based unit subdivisions such as staff sections. In some smaller units, with more tight-knit squads, soldiers might call their squad leader, boss, or a similar respectful term. A habit that has all but died out is the addressing of a platoon sergeant, in any unit other than artillery, being affectionately called a platoon daddy. In casual conversation or in jest, but never in any official communication of any type. In training units, basic combat training and eight or OSUT, trainees are called private, regardless of the rank worn. Special titles, such as drill sergeant and gunnery sergeant, are specific to certain jobs, position title, and should not be confused for actual rank. 
Other services differ, such as the Marines, who address each other by full rank. Some terms are used jokingly when referring to a soldier's rank. For instance, specialists are sometimes jokingly referred to as the E-4 Mafia, Command Private Major, Specialist Major, Full Bird Private, from the eagle on their shield, Sham Shield, from their stereotype of shamming it, or malingering, PV-4, or Spec-4, in reference to the old specialist grades, which at one point went up to specialist 9. Private, PV-2 E2, rank insignia are called, mosquito wings, from the appearance of the single chevron. Privates, PVT E1, are called, buck privates, because they are the lowest rank of private. An E1 private may be referred to as E nothing, drill private, or PV nothing, as opposed to PV2, the next rank due to their lack of rank insignia. E1 privates were also called a fuzzy or E fuzzy during the War on Terror era due to the bare Velcro patch holders on the Army Combat Uniform ACU. See also United States Army Officer Rank Insignia United States Warrant Officer Rank Insignia Notes <laughs> <laughs>